Okay, today we've got a quick, easy, delicious bolognese. Okay, folks, Paul is back to work off for maternity tomorrow. Um, I wanted something nice, tasty, nutritious, send her on the way with lots of energy. So we're going with a spaghetti bolognese today, all cooked from uh, fresh ingredients. Uh, we've got um, peppers, carrots, onions, uh, beef mince, pork mince, uh, a bit of stock, and two tins, sorry about the kids in the background, two tins of uh, uh, chopped tomatoes going in there. And that'll all be boiled up and she'll have a lovely meal. Uh, let's get in there and show you how to do it. Okay, there's the ingredients we're going to be using for the spaghetti bolognese today. We've got beef and pork mince, a, t a tin of chopped tomatoes, one large red onion, two carrots, two stock cubes, salt, pepper, and a couple of uh, bell peppers. Okay, so the, we've got the oil in the pan nice and hot. Fire the, the mince in. Just separate that now so it all cooks through. So we've got the mince browning off. And it's in a second pan, I've heated up some oil and I'm just browning off the, uh, the onions. Can you see the beef is nicely browned through. I'm going to drain off the fat in the bottom of that now to make it nice and lean and healthy. And uh, I'll show you what to do then. Okay, so we've mixed up the mint, uh, the minced beef and um, pork, the onions, the tin of chopped tomatoes, salt, pepper, and the mixed herbs. I'm going to mix it all up now and then add the stock. Okay, it's not as moist as I was hoping for. There's always going to be some stock going in, but I want it to be a tomatoey base. So I'm going to put another tin of chopped tomatoes in. Okay, you can see how much more juice there is in that now, how much more sauce it's creating it on its own. So, it's still quite liquidy, and I'm going to be putting some stock in there in a minute. So I'm going to leave that to carry on boiling, on a rolling boil, uh, to, uh, to thicken up. So the stock's just gone into that mix, uh, and you can see here we've got one green, one red pepper uh, sliced, and then two carrots diced. And that's all going to go in and be stirred up, and then I'll leave that to bubble away for probably half an hour and see how it looks after that time. Okay, you can see that's bubbled away, bubbled away nicely. It's uh, lovely and thick now. I'm going to recover this just to let them flavours all mix in and all infuse and uh, cook it for probably another 10-15 minutes. So I've put some water to boil in this pan. This is the pan we used for browning off or sweating off the onions looks a bit scummy at the moment but that's just the oil from the uh, the onions coating the surface don't no point in dirtying another pan and that oil will serve two purposes when the spaghetti goes in and comes back out of it it's going to coat in that oil so it's not going to stick together so we're not going to get clumpy spaghetti it should be uh, nice for the meal so the oil's going to, the spaghetti's going to go in there in a second and it's fresh uh, egg pasta so it should only take 5 minutes or so and it should be ready there you go folks Piping hot, fresh out of the pan, and it tastes as good as it looks, I promise you. Okay folks, it's just started to rain, so I'm going to do this quickly. You've seen what it looks like, you've seen how to cook it, I can promise you it tastes del delicious. I'm going to go and eat it now, so if you've liked what you've seen, like, comment and subscribe on YouTube, like, comment and share on Facebook. We're Trail Trials on Twitter and Instagram. Until next time, get out and find your own trail.